This is things we should be doing when you're doing these movements. Give them a try, fucking give this routine a go. Don't just think this is lightweight, I can do it. It's not about the weight. It's about the movement and it's about the alignment and the control. So these are all things you need to be looking at. If you're not looking at them, there is a point of progression that you are missing out on. Yeah, told you so. <laughs> it's like the world today doesn't want to help. <laughs> go around me, go around me, go around me. <sighs> so we're supposed to be going to the gym. Today we woke up, feel like training? No. Do I look like I'm healthy? No, I've had shit night's sleep, I've got a pulled groin, the roads are closed, I've been overtaken by vans. And I could just curl up on the sofa and go and just cry. Like, you know, that's what the body wants to do today, Jay. <laughs> We're not. We're going to circumnavigate these road signs and these people and these hindrances in life. And we will get a little bit later than anticipated, yeah. but we will get a training session in and we will move one step closer towards our goals. 73.2 coming up. 70. <laughs> Is it really closed up there? God damn it! <laughs> with a bit of swag. Start by the end, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty much it. Because I just want to skip. Alright, I want to be free. I want to be free to do what I want, when I want, with who I want. What's that from? That's a movie. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I, We've made it. I'm in a happy mood now, because I've seen Jay. His beard's still neat after we trimmed it in Ireland. He's doing well, which makes me happy. And look at the gym. We do what we want, when we want, with who we want. Just, wait, what? If you can think of the name of whatever that film's from, put it in the comment section now. But today, we're here, because strength of mind is a bit weak this morning. Woke up to the day like, no. Didn't want to do anything, felt shit. I've had this groin injury for about five weeks now. It's finally coming to a culmination point of actually affecting my workouts a little bit long term so it's starting to piss me off but it is healing and sometimes you get these injuries we don't know what caused it really it shouldn't have happened on what it happened on it happened on like a freaking side plank raise it was just it was just obviously a weak point ready to go and it just went and this shit is going to happen we've got to be expecting this because we're moving from bodybuilding into more functional stuff you're going to get twinges it's going to happen even if you're not doing that shit you're going to get twinges and get hurt so today we're going to rebuild our strength and this is going to be an upper workout using bands, which includes one exercise called a banded death march. Can I just say that when I first told that to him, his worry was the fact that it was called a march. He didn't he ignored the word death. I went, so, oh yeah, march. It's because of groin. March. That to me, groin march. So a quick look at today's pre-workouts are going to just be simple. Carbs, 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 and carbs. So we've got party rings. Simple little biscuits, five grams of carb, bugger all fats, 100% happiness. Chocolate orange club. If you haven't ever had one of these, excuse me. <laughs> we have already, already consumed some butter kissed crunchy toffee popcorn. The point of all this is when you want to have some fun shit, put it before your workouts, enjoy it, and then it actually goes to good use. To get rid of like the daylight mentality, no bugger off, I'm going to hit just one of these energy shots. Now, this one is a moose juice. No idea. They do energy drinks, I think. And this is 200 milligrams of ca Actually, let's make a point. Before I rip this off, along the top here, it said caffeine, BCAAs, what, taurine, and a load of other bollocks. That's just all clever advertising. This is basically a big fucking caffeine shot. It has half a gram, half a gram of BCAAs in it. It's, that's lies. It's not BCAAs, don't believe the bullshit. Always read the labels. It doesn't mean this isn't good, but it's just a liquid caffeine. So we're gonna liquid caffeine, and then we're gonna death march. Da, 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 da. Right, so we're going to kick this workout. This is going to be a little bit raw. Jay, this is down to you to make them interested in what we're doing. I'll so best, if mate. you don't like the strength and conditioning workout, yeah. don't believe in its motivational powers, and it doesn't fire you up, then send messages to Jay telling him to stop wearing minion hoodies and do his job properly. Hit me, Jay. Even that hurt my groin. <laughs> if I do this, watch, and then stretch my hip flexors, that hurts my groin. This, doing this, hurts my groin. So. Wait, <laughs> can't see them, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're doing 30 on 30 off for six minutes. So this is a banded lat stretch. We're literally just trying to put as much distance between your hand and foot as possible. Just get a nice big stretch to your lats. Ah. It's 
Good pain. Ribs down. Ten kilo med ball. And then bring it over. Yeah, it's a black and green one. So she's gonna sit just on top of your hips. Because we've got a bit of a groin issue going on, I'm not gonna have you doing big like knees up marches. Yeah. But I'm just gonna get you continually moving. Jay and I are gonna have a great time while Lex is in this. <laughs> So we've got an upper body focus session. All I want to try to do with this is pre-fatigue his glutes. Um, so the band's pulling his hips down, but there's no sort of spinal loading. So it's really like a relaxing state, but still putting the glutes uh, under tension, still getting them firing as we can see. I've been a moany bitch today, Jake. Okay, that's fine. I'm punishing myself for being a moany bitch. It's, uh, it's fatiguing my shoulder, left shoulder, because obviously we've just released that one from impingement. So it's obviously getting worked in ways it's not used to. Yeah. Really burning. Oh, glute just kicked in. Oh, mother. Yeah, it does. Oh. I feel like I'm floating now. Float like a butterfly. Look how my emotion, look how I've already changed my uh, entire being. Yeah. It's happier. You can testament to that, can't you? Yeah, definitely. We're grumpy like yeah. before, aren't I? First time I've seen you smiling today, mate. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so you're going to do a pull up, you're then going to bring your knees up, I'm going to place a plate on your knees, and then you're going to control that eccentric down. Yeah. Okay, and at the bottom I'll take it off, and then you go straight back up, knees up, I'll put it on, so you're overloading the eccentric part of it, that makes sense. Big difference you see between the strength training and this conditioning style is, it's not like rep, 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 rep work like there is with weights, where it's overloading trauma, trauma. This is all controlled, uh, controlled progression, controlled aggression even. So it's, it's, it's working on loading phases, it's working on maximizing your potential. So it doesn't want to burn you out because what it wants to do is maximize every rep and get 100% out of every rep so that you're able to control it and work the muscle at the same time. Whereas when you're getting too fatigued, you start to lose that control, you start to lose that mechanism. This is why it's so important to be doing this type of work because it is so different and it's so neglected if all you're doing is that kind of weightlifting bodybuilding style. <laughs> It's nice and slow on the way back down. Aim for about four or five seconds. All the way down. Go! Go! Nice and slow on this one. Slow, 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 slow. You have straight overhead press. We're not going to do it from that position. We're going to do a neutral grip. So mimic the same position we're doing there. Eight reps. A little frustrating, that groin pull is still there. Weight wise, I could probably do heavier in terms of the muscularity of the movements, but in terms of being sensible, working this how we're supposed to work it, learning the exercise, keep the weight low, keep it strict, and uh, montage, Jay. Challenging, so the weight will be a lot less, but the contraction will be a lot more. So it's okay. going to be a split stance and row. So I'm going to do right arm, it'll be left foot forward. So this is half kneeling position. That's like the top of a split squat. I'm going to be bang in the middle. Make sense? Yeah. Cool. My job is to basically pull that down, but what I'm not doing is I'm not twisting. Okay. Okay, so everything stays facing forward. I'm trying to keep this facing forward. All I'm doing is reaching over, big squeeze, pull it down there. Yeah. Yeah. My back leg shaking. Oh, yeah, it's getting there now. Good, that's the one. Oh. 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 
So you can see on that, if you've watched previous videos, you'll know we've got glute instability from a car accident years and years ago, and there's been compensation. So we're trying to fix imbalances here, working left to right, thinking about posture and everything being right, right angled, straight lined, not allowing compensation. So some of these movements are hurting in areas doesn't even look like they're working. So this is really hurting. Hip flexors, glutes, but also that core, trying to maintain a straight upper body because for years I've had hip kicks, uh, legs and knees going off in different directions without you even feeling it. And because you do those things so often, incorrectly, they become your mechanism. They become your right way when they're wrong. So this feels really out of alignment for me, even though I'm putting myself back in alignment. This is things we should be doing. When you're doing these movements, give them a try. Fucking give this routine a go and you will feel it. But start slow, line everything up. Don't just think this is lightweight, I can do it. It's not about the weight. It's about the movement and it's about the alignment and the control. You can see my back leg shaking on there. That's glute instability. Because I'm having to pull the glute in. So if I'm pulling with my right arm, I'm having to pull that right glute tight to control the hips and control that core. So these are all things you need to be looking at. If you're not looking at them, there is a point of progression that you are missing out on. Yeah, whatever, Jake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're busy with it. I'm, uh, yeah, I'll start off with 20 minutes. So, we're working through a, a contrast set here, a strength building exercise, and the dumbbell floor press, trying to work on that lockout. Uh, pairing that with uh, an ex reactive ballistic med ball press. As I drop it, he's going to react and then throw it back up. So, it's, uh, that's the power part of it. We're trying to potentiate the movement. Nice. <clears throat> together hands and elbows come out like that and then I want to extend out and punch there okay. I want to keep my elbows out so we're working pure elbow extensors here so that for that lockout again what we're trying to get there's no loading with it you know so it's just pure concentric but I'm going to try the triceps without getting on tendon pain. Just that, look that, so it's yeah. going there. Yeah. We're done, that's it. An upper strength, stabilization, and explosive power builder. This can be as hard or as easy as you want it to be to start, but you must start doing this stuff. There's no reason now that you can't include this entire workout into your weekly routine. Give it a go. I promise you, if you start doing this, you don't have to jump in and be heavy and be overwhelmed. This is not about weight, it's about technique and it's about that strength building. But if you do this, if you start actively looking towards functionality, you are gonna feel where your weaknesses are. You're gonna be able to improve, improve on those weaknesses. You're gonna see that transcend into your other workouts. This introduction to this strength building, introducing these into your workout could be that plateau breaker that you've been looking for. You will not know unless you fucking try. And that gets me back to this morning when you saw me demotivated and lackluster in energy. Look at me now, happy, smiling. That state of mind, that low energy, it, it's, it's, it can be your body being a little bit fatigued, but more than anything, it's usually here. This is where we get weak and we sit and we get comfortable and we get lazy and we let the mind become lazy. Your mind has to be stronger than the fatigue of your body. If it's not, you're not gonna progress. Like when we're in the gym and I taught you that one, two, three, go, it's the same principle. When, when we're doing the reps and we're getting tired, we stop, take a breather, one, two, three, go, and it creates a positive trigger that every time you get tired and have to stop, you know there's two more reps in there. And that's the same thing you have to do at home. If you're going home from work and sitting down and then not getting to the gym, don't go home. Go straight to the gym and then go home. The time difference is gonna be negligible. You're still gonna get that time with your family and friends if you get your ass to that gym straight after work. Power through that workout quicker and more effectively than if you sluggishly lug yourself in after going home for half an hour and not even really being present. 
this is what we're battling with every day and if you feel this way understand it's completely fucking normal the trick is to power through it is to overcome it is to get used to putting yourself in uncomfortable situations so that when an uncomfortable situation comes along it no longer phases you and with that in mind we've done a strength and conditioning in the gym here we're also going to video some other things get some pictures and stuff like that but the day's not goddamn done because after this we go to striking so i started that morning lazy i started it with a weak mentality but i swear i'm going to end this motherfucker strong so we're going to go we're going to hit up the rpma rpma nope that sounds like a drug we're going to go and hit up the rpmaa in kidderminster and we're going to go and smash this day out the park Boom. I like the deluxe dog from that advert. <laughs> she looks paint. Digging in now, so obviously the bodybuilding muscle is still not good fighting muscle anyway. Anyway, and uh, it's just a matter of fighting through, pushing when you get tired. Do three more. You keep saying that with everything until that time it beeps. So there we go, what we've done now is that I like fourth, fifth class now. Jake's good at making me come as well. Whoa, no, let's not say that in public. Oh boy. Uh, walk away, walk away. <laughs> Jake's been very good at motivating me He's, to come to wrong. the classes. You're not wrong. So. <laughs> so it's always good to have that little voice in your head. There's another human being telling you to get your shit in order and get to the class. Because tonight I might have not come because I was feeling like, you know, I was, I was injuring, maybe I wasn't going to. Uh, make it through then Jake was just like it's a striking class you can do that it doesn't matter what your injuries you can work around that what I'm not going to do now is stay for the grappling class even though now I'm in it and warm that I really want to sometimes you got to have that kind of pullback as well as that drive so I'm going to let Jake and his nipples carry on let's do that we will be back with more strength and conditioning we'll be back in this gym to do some circuit training some fight circuit stuff that you guys can take and do at home if you don't have a gym at the moment I'm going to be doing routines that you guys can be doing or if you do have a gym that you're going to something that you can slip in slip in oh. nice and easy <laughs> into that routine so until the next one this has been another undisputed episode thank you all for tuning in comment down below anything else you want to see or you've gotten confused by or any of the other jazz or maybe you just want to tell me that my blonde hair looks like a gay lesbian Whatever floats your boat. A gay lesbian. gay lesbian. Yeah, that's what I've had. A gay lesbian. The intelligence of these keyboard warriors is astounding. <laughs> I've been Lex, that's been Jake and his nipples. I've said inappropriate stuff and we're out. <laughs> Lately I've been doing shit different. Cooking like a chef, I've been all up in the kitchen. Had to make a move, had to make a little distance. A lot of people tripping, they could never see the vision. Fuck that, tell them about